All right. You started with Kof. Can't be brief with him, and then I'll and then I'll get coached to you. All right. Uh, well, thanks for joining us today, Kofi. Hold on, let me. I'm going to change your uh, the name on the. Uh, We'll go ahead and open up questions for uh, for Kofi, and we'll start. Um, Jeremy, go ahead. Uh, oh, well, you know, we're going to start with Robert since you're in at site, and then we'll go down the line. So go ahead, Robert, your first question. Yeah, Co Kofi, a tough shift there in the second half, uh, pretty dominant first half, and then things changed. Can you identify what maybe changed in the second half there? Um, I really, um, I, re I realized that they, they kind of started doubling down on the post um, from the backside. And um, they just made my, made my catches harder, and they keep the ball up. Um, it wasn't nothing really we could do about it, other than just, just doing what we do and, make, and going through their plays. And can you comment on the, you know, this was a, you know, since I'm here, this was a very noisy Illinois bench and a very quiet Rutgers bench. What, what did you think you got from the energy from the guys on the bench? Yeah, man, um, at the beginning of the season, we were, we were kind of like, we were horrible um, with the bench, um, giving us energy and just, you know, keeping, keep, like, being loud. And um, of course, he spoke. He spoke about it earlier in the year that we, we have to basically feed each other energy, and we have to be calm for each other, and you know, have fun with it. So, I, I, I commend the freshmen and all those guys on the bench. Like they always, they always like give us that um, that, that 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 boost that we need to go out and compete. And it's just like it's, it's exciting to, watch, to to just be playing and listening to them, and they're they're pumping us whether it's on defensive or offensive, and they just give us energy. Okay, thanks. Okay, Jeremy, you're up, and then we'll follow with Brandon. Go ahead, Jeremy. Hey, Kofi, 91 points for Rutgers today. They had 10 offensive rebounds in the second half. Just what's the key for this team to have some defensive consistency? What do you think is, is the key for you guys there? Um, defensive um, consistency. Um, we just have to, we have to guard the ball at first. Um, we, have to, we had a lot of fouls today. You know, they shot 35 free throws, and that's, that's, that's way too much. You know, we have a really good defensive team, and we just have to rely on each other and just know that, we, you know, every, we got each other back at all times, like, we can't be fouled and we can't be sending teams to the line because that's how um, this is a big 10, man. Like every, every team is going to be hard, hard win, especially on the road. And we just have to make sure that we sit down and guard and we, you know, we, we lock in mentally and what, what, um, what the personnel are. And just make sure that we're not fouling, and putting them on the line. In, in kind of Missouri, you had a lot of fouls this game. You had a lot of fouls. Uh, what's, the, what's the key for you guys there um, if they're going to call it that way? <laughs> key for us, like I said, it's not just trusting each other that we got each other back. Um, you know, we're, we're a really competitive team. We're, we're really competitive individuals. And I feel like guys, like, they, they overplay sometimes. They, 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 like, they overuse their energy in, in some possessions where they want to they wanna make sure that they're, they're guarding, they're holding themselves account, accountable. But I feel like we should just rely on each other more, you know, rely on me to help help if somebody beats you. If somebody beats you, I'm, I mean, from, we're playing against really good teams in the Big Ten, and they're going to beat you. You're going to have good guys that can go by you. And we just have to rely on each other to come over and help and we rotate. And keep it and keep and keep the game going instead of fouling and sending them to the line. Thanks. Hey, Brandon, you're up. Scott Ritchie on deck. Go ahead, Brandon. Kofi, even in a loss, you guys still scored 88 points against a pretty good Rutgers defense. So, what was kind of clicking for you guys offensively, and, and how can you keep that up? Everything clicks for us. Um, we're like, like I said this now. We're really we're a really good team. Um, we have really really good tools individually, and when we come together, we're really good. We, we connect and we pass the ball. We had a lot of assists today. Because um, we share the ball well, and it's just about running the plays, just going through the plays, and and just, and just getting what we get, getting what we have. We're really good coaching staffs, and they make sure that we they put us in the position to be successful. And we just have to basically go through the play and and, and make sure that we run the plays right and go through it and hit the hit the extra pass, find the open man. Thanks, Kofi. Okay, Scott Ritchie and then Joey Wagner. Scott. Kofi, how much do you think Rutgers' offensive rebounding maybe helped them put together their their run, multiple runs, I guess, in the second half? Yeah, that was tough. Um, they, they pumped us on the offensive glass in the second half. Um, it really helped them a lot because those are, those are the shots that really that really hurt teams. You know, the second shots where you guard for thirty seconds and and they, 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 they shoot a contested shot, a tough shot, and they miss it, and then you have to guard again for thirty more seconds, or, or they get an offensive putback for. Or, or a three, so that really hurts us a lot because instead of getting the ball and going out in transition, that's kind of a, a five point five point change if they hit a three, or a four point change if they make a layup. But instead of going back and scoring in transition, we have to guard again and maybe they score or they get a three. So that's really tough. That was really lethal for us in the second half. I guess I mean 
was looking like you were. We have time for two more. Okay. I'll go ahead and give someone else one more. All right, Joey, go ahead. Hey, Kofi, we've seen you guys play really, really well in games against Baylor and Minnesota and then, you know, maybe struggle to get two in a row strung together. How do you guys develop that consistency from game to game? Like I said, man, like, I mean, this is a big 10, like I said earlier, it's, it's, it's a tough league, tough league. I mean, you can't really hold, you can't really be that, hold yourself down if you lose to a team because all these teams are good teams with good players and good coaches, you know, and it's going to be competitive every night, night in and night out. So it's just about pre preparing, you know, making sure that we focus in. We, 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 we do a really good job of preparing and making sure that we know the scouts, they know that we're, we do, what we're doing ahead of time. So it's just about just preparing and knowing that every night is going to be a battle, every night is going to be a dogfight. So we have to come out there with the same energy and match, match other teams' energy and, and execute and play good defense. Thanks, Cody. Okay. Last, last question be uh, from uh, Gavin. Go ahead, Gavin. Hey, Kofi. Um, a, a close competitive game, obviously. Um, do you have any advice for guys like Adam, maybe, who are struggling a little bit right now, uh, um, and Andre, uh, who's, who's struggled with some fouling a little bit? Yeah, man. I, like I just told him earlier, I said it's, it's, like, it's tough for freshmen to play in this league. Um, I witnessed it last year, you know, both mentally and physically. I was a, I was a big dude, so I had, a, I had an upper hand. I, I you know, I had help with that. But, like, this is really hard to play against these playing this league because, yeah, like I said earlier, it's every night, it's the same thing every night. You know, good players, you're going up against good players that you have to guard, you have to go back down. And it's just really, really good connected. Con um, connected. And, like, like I told him this now, like, you can't really hold yourself down. It's a tough league for freshmen to play. No no other teams play freshmen like Coach Underwood does. And and that's for a reason, you know. It's a really, really tough league. And you just have to come out and try to compete and get better every day. Thanks, Kofi. Thank you, Kofi. Thank you.